Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a slideshow and it's super easy and super fast. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So it will be something like this. There we go. So you've got a small preview. So let's go to a bridge and uh, you can do the same thing in Lightroom. So this moment in time I've got some photos here and uh, I want to control A or command A so this way I select all of the photos right here and now I want to go to tools Photoshop and we've got all of these options what I want to do is I want to put all of these photos in one document but in layers separate layers so that will be load files into Photoshop layers so I click there and now while well, now Photoshop will put every single photo in a separate layer so there you go as you can see one two three four blah, blah, all the way down here and also the mp3 file that i actually don't want i should i didn't have to select that for now so now what i want to do is i want to go to window and timeline and as you can see we've got the timeline right here so i'm just going like so so i can see a bit more what's happening right here and uh, if you see right here on the bottom this actually zooms in so zooming in within the timeline so what I want to do I want to go like halfway or so and I'm going to hit spacebar or click play right here and the reason is I want to see so I'm just going to bring this down a bit I want to see how long I want this photo to display so I'll click play and I'll just go something like so. So I'm going right here. So now I know each frame I want to last this long. So now I need just to just zoom out. And you'll see in a minute why I zoom out. So right here on the top, well, this is the length of the video. Or in this case, it will be the slideshow. So I'm just going to leave it as it is because I can't move it, but I will extend it eventually. So I want to make sure that every single image will be displayed for the same amount of time. So to do that, I'll just come here to the end and I'll just bring it down. Just bring it to the side. And because I've got this timeline, it will snap into it. So I don't need to spend too much time just trying to make sure that they all be the same time. And I'll just go click, 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 drag. And as you can see, it just snaps. So I'm just going to the other ones, like so. And now, and that's it. I think they're all done. Yes, they are all done. So at the moment, we know they'll last this long. Right? Cool. So now, what I want to start doing is creating a video. So I'm going to grab this one here just holding it and bring it to that same line as this one here and see how it's expanding the time of the um, of the video or the slideshow and also created automatically Photoshop a video group so this is pretty cool so we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other ones so literally just grab them and as you can see it just snaps them into place so nothing too fancy so as i said before in the introduction this is easy and super fast look at that and spacebar and we've got a slideshow so i'm just going to bring down this so we can see a bit more and as you can see we've got a slideshow but now we want to create some transitions in between well, there are, there are ways that I could go and uh, take, spend a bit bit time and have full control over what sort of uh, movement I wanted and create transitions. But this is a fast way and easy way to do it. So to do that, I'm going to select the first image. And I've got a fade, cross fade, faded black, white or fade with color. I'm just going to grab cross fade and drag it right here and see how it changed so it goes in the middle so and I'll just go and do the same to the other ones so this one here 
uh, I think you know, it's not this one. Let's start from the beginning. I'm just undoing. So cross fade, cross fade, cross fade. And as you can see, it's super easy, super quick to do this. You just click, drag into place. And there we go. We are nearly done. Look at that. Sorted. That's it. So now we have a transition, as you can see right here. I'm just going to hit spacebar and see we've got the transition. Obviously, the transition will be applied to the time that the frame is displayed. So if you need to expand it, you can expand it. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. Now I want to add some motion to the photos themselves. So I can come here, select the first one, right click, and we've got this little window motion i'll go pen and zoom i can control the angle zoom in zoom out i'm happy with that and i can just go and do the same to the other ones pen and zoom oops i pressed the wrong one so motion pen and zoom now i'll come here to the other one pen and zoom all i'm doing is right click on on that area right here because if I click here it will um, be messing with the transition so pan and zoom pan and zoom and pan and zoom only that pan and zoom so let me just see how this is looking and as you can see it's looking quite cool so now the last thing I need to do is add some music. So we've got video group, audio track, and I can click here and add audio. And on this folder that I created for the, this tutorial, I've got Firefly. This is actually uh, one of the musics that I can use on YouTube videos, so no cop copyrights. So everyone can use this photo, this uh, image, uh, this MP3. <laughs> so and now, as you can see, we've got the music longer than actually the images. So I can just come here to the end and just try bring it in like so, and it will snap. So if I hit play. There you go. Super easy, super quick, as I mentioned. So all I have to do now is file and export render video and I select my location and make sure it's 1080p because it's higher resolution and uh, check the encoder and hit render and it'll, it will be saved, exported and saved uh, to the location you, you want. That's it for now. As you can see, this is a super easy way to create a slideshow and it's quite fun and you can have lots and lots of fun I forgot to mention if you want to expand this area so for instance let's go to the first image so as I mentioned because we we dragged the the crossfade into the image let's say you want to expand a bit more this image you can just come here and just go like so and it will expand it so uh, you can do that to every single one and or when you start Add a bit extra if you want to, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your family, friends, and even to those who you don't know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.